<laughs> you can't <laughs> what? No, 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 I can't see if it says. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now I do. Yeah. It says it says live. Although I think we're live. Are we live? Let's see. On? <laughs> it says it says twelve waiting. I can't tell. I no, okay. We here we go. Here we are. We're yeah, live. Axis and Amp says, "When is the show?" Right now. <laughs> it's right now. Here we are, you guys. Welcome. It's December 9th, 2019. Uh, 2 56 p.m. out here in uh Santa Cruz, California. So that's two, three, four, five fifty six where you are. About it six, is five, six o'clock. Yeah, yep, almost six o'clock. Almost six o'clock. Rob Johnson, good to see you, man. Good to see you, Johnny, and good mm -hmm. to see everybody out there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Barney, and right? Barney's here. There's Barney. Hey, Barney. <laughs> Here's the name. Years perk up. <laughs> Barney. Yeah, Ned's here. He Ned's keeps, here. He keeps opening the window, so my lighting keeps going really weird, you know? <laughs> he just jumped out of the uh he jumped out of the jumped up on the couch a couple minutes ago. Yeah, he's in the window. I see him. Yeah. <laughs> I see him. Uh Jimmy Ka. Hey Jimmy Ka. Good hey, what's you. up, Jimmy? Hey, I called you the other day, dude, but you didn't pick up. Hmm. <laughs> no, nah, I know you're busy. <laughs> Every time, John, I, every, time Jimmy, every time I call uh -huh. Jimmy Carr, uh, if he goes to a voicemail, it's like, "Hi, this is Chrissy. Leave a message." And I'm always like, "That's so. That's his. That's his. Uh, um, that's his wife. She's a sweetheart of a lady, and he's got a great family." But so every time he calls Jimmy Carr's cell phone, the voicemail goes directly to his wife. <laughs> uh huh. That's all right. That's all good. John BL5150 is in the house. Joe Hervey84 is here. Joe Hervey, what's up? He's asking, are you going to go to Winter Nam? Um, Joe, this year I actually am not going to make it. I will be there next uh, Winter Nam and possibly the Summer Nam, but uh, this Winter Nam I cannot make it. Um, I'm actually moving to a new place in uh, uh, two weeks, and I'm just going to be kind of. I'm going to be tied up. I, I took a new job. Oh, yeah, I know. I don't know how to shut that off. I keep getting text messages. And, um, <laughs> but um, so I'm going to be moving out of here in two weeks. So this is probably going to be the last show that I that I do here in this place. Um, um, you guys wonder. I've, I've got a lot of messages in the last couple of weeks. And, you know, why haven't I done any shows on my channel? Because I've been packing. So you see a couple of guitars on the wall. But. The whole my whole place is in shambles. So um, my apartment, after four months, has been sold, and uh, which is a good thing because uh, after four years, excuse me, it's been sold. I've been here four years. I can't believe it. Uh, ever since I got divorced four years ago, and um, uh, <laughs> I won't say anything about that part, but. Uh, <laughs> Multiple, never mind. It's okay. It's, it's during the day. Well, there's been all kinds of visitors here in the last four <laughs> years. That's been a great thing. It's been a lot of fun. Jimmy Carr's probably laughed his butt off. But anyway, so my apartment's getting sold, and I got a new job. Um, I'm still a police officer, but I took on a new full-time job, and uh, I love it. I've been doing it for uh, going into three weeks now. And, and uh, um, I, I bought a condominium, and um, it's got a huge room in the basement, a huge room. And I'm going to have a guitar room, which is going to blow this one away. So it's going to take me a few weeks to get set up. But I'm closing on the place on December 20th. And I'm actually moving in on the 26th, the day after Christmas. So um, stand by, guys. There's going to be a new uh, Van Halen room. And uh, um, it's going to be pretty cool. So I'm pretty excited. So new beginnings, uh, new start. And, uh, yeah. So unfortunately, awesome. I won't be able to make winter NAM. But I will be there next year, and uh, Johnny's going to keep me posted on how everything goes. Yes, yes, I'll, I'll definitely, definitely, definitely keep you posted, man. And man, look at this! What's going on here? This light, man. You Ned, look, you look good to me. Where's Ned? <laughs> Johnny, are you? Uh, have you? Speaking of Winter Nam, have you heard anything about any new guitars? I mean, it's been pretty quiet. Um. So far, no, I have not. Thanks, I Joe and Jimmy. Appreciate it, dude. 
And Jimmy, the next time you come out to see me, man, you're gonna I'm gonna send you some pictures later. That's why I called you the other day. Where do you see this new place, dude? You're gonna you're gonna love it. It's actually gonna be a little bit closer for you. It's gonna be about 20 minutes closer if you drive to my house. Oh, that's cool. Yep. That's cool. Um man, this light. Uh hey, Metal Soda. Hey, RMG471. <laughs> Welcome, man. It's been a, it's been a while. <laughs> Nightbot's here. Oh, Nightbot, there you are. <laughs> now, Johnny, I mean, you look. I mean, you look good, and the guitars look good. It's just, to, it's to your, it's to your right, our left, where it's real bright. That's the only part that's bright. The other, the other right. <laughs> My right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I've got these blackout. Uh curtains that i use but ned keeps walking around behind there and like opening them so it keeps keep let me just oh man yeah. let me just let me just adjust my light real quick <laughs> yeah go ahead go ahead and i'll uh, i'll take over for a second so i just want to wish uh, our good buddy dave nesdal um all you guys watching probably saw that dave is um uh uh, Dave's in a hospital. He had a, a had a uh, had a little bit of an infection. He's doing well. I talked to Dave today. He had some uh, procedure done today, and uh, he seems to be doing good. Um, so, just want to give good vibes to our good friend uh, Dave and uh, Desiree. And uh, yeah, so so far everything's looking good. Hey Jay, how you doing, buddy? Uh, tell Ellie Jay. hi. I'm definitely waving back at Ellie. Um, absolutely. That's that's pretty cool. Hi, Ellie. <laughs> There's Ned. There's Ned. Oh, he's going crazy. He Ned's jumping toy. into your guitar. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ned, he's so cool, man. That's so he's, cool. He's awesome. I've never had an indoor cat. He's my first one ever, so it's it's a lot of fun. Wait, when you first got him, he was outdoors because I watched him jump in the window one time months ago. From the outside. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's indoor, outdoor. He's indoors during the day, outdoors at night. Oh, okay. I got you. That's but right. I'm, that's right. But my yeah. previous two cats were only outdoor cats. They were never right. indoor yeah. cats. You know. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> yeah, see there there he is though. He's got he's got Howie's old blanket. <laughs> so he's yeah. And I and I yeah, and I and I just want to say something about Howie. Howie is he he was a great dog and uh um, just, just an incredible, incredible animal and, uh, definitely a family member to Johnny and, uh, his wife and, and, and everybody that watched all the shows. And, uh, I just want to say, uh, how he is, this is just my belief, but how he is at the rainbow bridge right now. And he's waiting for Johnny and Johnny will see him again one day and, uh, they'll be reunited. He's, he's, he was, he's, he's a great dog and he had an amazing life. Um. Uh, and uh, uh, it's not the end. He's in. He's in a great place right now, and uh, there will be another time. Absolutely. Thank, thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, he's amazing. He's amazing, and the outpouring of of uh, support has been incredible yeah. on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. I. 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 There's so many people I got to reply back to. <laughs> it's insanity. Yeah. You know? Um, but yeah, I appreciate, appreciate all of you guys and, and how he is awesome. There he is. I've got this picture now yeah. on my, on my desk here. That was him. When we, the day we got him, he was six months old right there, <laughs> right there. And I've got that sitting right here. Well, um, whenever you lose an animal, it's like, you know, it's, 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 it's a family member. It's a child. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's, you know, um, and I and like I said, I firmly believe that they're always there and they always will be. Um, mm -hmm. But when I lost my dog Rogan a few years ago, I mean, it, it, it's it's hard, it sucks, it's tough. But uh, I know they're going to be around. You know, um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna send Johnny something right now. But yeah. Um. Cool. But anyway, so what have you been up to, dude? Man, I, I we 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 had this this show scheduled for like. Two, like an hour from now yeah, i know yeah i know right and so i'm like well okay we're not going to be on for quite a while i'm going to go get something to eat 
And I went and got this amazing sandwich from this deli. Roast beef with sprouts and, and mushrooms and and uh, I don't know what it's called. But anyway, the thing was amazing. And Rob's like, hey, I'll be ready in half an hour. And I'm just like, oh, I'm so full. Yeah. <laughs> but the earlier we do this stuff, the better, you know, especially on days where we're not scheduled. When we just pop pop in like this, you know, earlier the better, I think. Yep. Um, I got that. Thank yeah, you. when you get a when you get a second after we get off, Johnny, read that. A, a very good friend of mine uh, sent me that three years ago. When uh, when uh, you know, yeah, just read that. Okay, uh, really impressive. Okay, thank you, man. Thank you, Clayton um, James. Today is Music Man Monday. Yes, it is. Yes. That's right. That's right, Clayton. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it is. Hi, Nedward. Nedward. <laughs> I never thought of that. Network. Network. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. Yeah, he's he's very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Um, let's let's see what. Yeah, I, I basically just had a sandwich today and had a, a few things uh that I wanted to talk about. And you're here. We can talk about them. Yeah. That's right, Dave, man. Um, exactly. Totally agree. Yes. I'm just going to give a quick shout out to uh, my buddy Craig Stofko from CHS Guitars. Um, he, uh, some of you guys that, uh, a lot of you guys probably that follow me on Instagram and Facebook, um, I haven't posted much in the last couple of weeks because I've been so busy packing and getting ready, but uh, for mm -hmm. my move and the new job and everything. But um, about a year or so ago, uh, our good friend Dave Nesdo and I did a little deal, and, and uh, I got a Kramer Pacer Deluxe guitar that he had had. Um, I think he had actually had a project. I, I'm trying to think how that all went. Uh, painted the body to like a like a metallic type green, and it came out amazing. It was it was um, red. It was and, it was uh, it was I, one of those red. It's one of those red oh, uh, Kramers. That's right. Uh, that's right. It was originally red, and Dave gave it to me, and I painted it purple like two years ago, two or three years ago, and I did a multicolored uh, tape job on like the multi-pacer color tape guitar. And yeah. Dave was going to build it like that, and then he ended up going another route, and he had it green. So I always loved the guitar. I thought it was amazing. And I ended up getting the guitar, and after I brought it home, I'm like, ah, gosh, I already have a green guitar, so I decided to have it blue. So I stripped it all down and painted it blue myself just to see what I thought of the look of it, and I really mm -hmm. liked it. So I brought it to Craig a few months ago, and he used his Pacific Blue metallic flake um, thing that he's doing, and he made this guitar. Whoops, turn that down. He made this guitar, and I gotta say, this is not gonna do it justice, guys, because it's just you know, but it looks amazing in person. Um, it came out incredible. Um, so it's a Pacific blue body with gold hardware, original Floyd Rose, original gold Floyd Rose with an original EVH gold D tuna. I put with an original gold Floyd Rose. What's mm -hmm. happening? <laughs> not nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I put a black bar on it so it looks kind of rock and jurish, so to speak. And it's uh -huh. got a, a Music Craft neck with a Kramer logo, so it looks looks legit. And it's got original uh, um, Godo or Gato um, gold uh, tuners on it, and it's it's really 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 cool. And um, yeah, came out amazing. And I I really really love this guitar. And I want to give a shout out to Craig for this because it really came out amazing. So um, shout out to Craig, my good friend, Craig Stofko, CHS Guitars. Craig, you knocked it out of the park again. And this has been my main player for the last uh, few weeks since I picked it up. Thank you, my friend. I love it. Um, and that's not necessarily an EVH color, but it's a Kramer and it's an EVH style type guitar. And I wanted mm -hmm. to 
a little bit different, and that's why I wanted to go with the uh, Pacific Blue, and I love it. So for those of you guys that are looking for a great guitar, um, you want to do something different with a paint job or get a little creative or do an EVH guitar, um, uh, Craig is your man. He, he does professionally quality type uh, paint jobs, and you won't be disappointed. So thank you, my friend. I love it. <clears throat> right on. Yeah. Right on. Hey, now. <laughs> Hey now, sixty hey nine. <laughs> Wait, I love that number, <laughs> man. Uh. <laughs> oh, by the way, I did start seeing a new lady the other night, so we'll leave it at that. You'll be on sixty nine, huh? <laughs> Jimmy Carr's top picture, and by the way, Jimmy, the date went amazing. So, lots of oh my gosh, off the air. Off the air. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Malik says, Rob, is that a music craft build? Um, actually, no, it's not. Well, partially it is. This body is an original Kramer It's not, but it is. Pacer. It's, it's, it it's, isn't, but it is. It isn't, but it is. Uh, this is an original Kramer 80s era body. Um, and uh, Dave's had it for years, but the neck is an actual Musicraft neck. It's a Musicraft Strat neck. Um, and uh, Nick Amendolora put the logo on. And we wanted it to be a Strat style, like a lawsuit um, era headstock. And that's why I put the gold um, Goto crown heads on mm -hmm. to make it look kind of like a Rockinger type guitar, like Eddie's uh, multi, you know, uh, take guitar, the Pacer. However, um, <clears throat> I should ask Dave this. I wish Dave was watching this. This is one. Th this is this is one thing that I don't know about this guitar, and I've never seen this before. This is an original Kramer body, and it's heavy. So I'm, yeah. I'm thinking it's either a, uh, it's probably like a mahogany or maybe even a poplar body. It, it's it's not a, a a cheap plywood Kramer body. It's a pacer, it's a right? It's definitely a pacer, yes, it is. And I know that for a fact. But the one thing I don't know about this, and maybe some of you guys watching can help me out for a change, the route in the back, it's a Beretta route. It's not a pacer route. So I've never in my life seen a original Kramer pacer deluxe style, um, not deluxe, a, a Kramer pacer body with a Beretta route in the back. That really, that, that's that's different to me. I, and I don't know. So that's one question that I have maybe somebody could answer. Uh, I guess I could Google it. <laughs> I, I, I've never seen an original Kramer Pacer body with a Beretta route. Oh. Yeah, that is kind of weird, huh? It, isn't it? Very. So I don't know. Huh? Jay says to wipe off your your lens. Is your Wait, lens maybe. is your lens dirty? Well, no. Nah, if you use your thumb, it'll just it'll just smear. I don't. It, it, well, it's actually it's my laptop. It's just a tiny little bead. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, man. I got an idea. Oh man. Yeah, his his camera is is uh fudgy and my lighting sucks. I think it's a lighting issue on my part. I really think that's what it is, but hold on. I have a little Q tip I'm gonna use to wipe off the tiny little <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference, but oh my light is so horrible. Hold on, let me clean my ears and then I'll try to wipe it off. Hold <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Jay. Hey, if it's not a sound issue for me, it's a, it's a, it's a video issue. But no, at least at least I got a microphone going for once. Mm -hmm. But that that's definitely one question I've always I've always had on this guitar. Actually. <clears throat> Let me call 
Mr. Nesdal, stand by. I'm going to phone a friend. You guys want to talk to Nesdal? Sure. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> See if he picks up. <clears throat> he should be available now. Hey. We're out. Oh, wait, we wait. are live. And you are on the air, my friend. Are you, are you kidding me? I'm going to have to <laughs> Let me know when you're ready. Is he watching TV? What are we hearing? Is is that him? Hold on a sec. While, while we're waiting, Riley. Uh, yes, you should take the metal off the bottom of your Floyd. It's absolutely useless and it's a tone robber. So yes, take it off. I do that on all my Floyds. You there, Dave? Yes. Audio only, though. Okay. Hey, um, we, we wanted to wish you the best and, uh, you know, just see how you're doing. And I had a question for you. Okay. So this blue guitar that I just had Craig do, which used to be your guitar, one question that I can't answer on this is that is an original Kramer Pacer body, correct? Yes. Why is the route on the back a Beretta route, not a Pacer route? Any idea? Yes. Have you ever seen that before? Yes, it's the late 83. Oh, okay. So the late 83 Pacer bodies had the Beretta route. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Never knew that. That's that's news to me because we're trying to figure that out. So. Yeah. Um, anyways, buddy, I'll let you go. I know you're tied up. We just wanted to call and say hi. Everybody is wishing you well. Thank you. And uh, give me a call later. Okay, sounds good. All right, buddy. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye. See you, Dave. All right. So apparently that is a late 83 era body. Um, but like I said, what I'm talking about, for those of you guys that don't know, the route on the back of this body, you'll notice it's a Beretta-style route. So let me see. Da, 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 da. So like my, Rob. like my Hot for Teacher guitar. Can you yeah. see the chat? Yeah. Okay. John Bulwer says you can't see the chat, so he he wants to ask you something. But no, I can see the chat. I see all. I just oh, okay. haven't been looking at it. So that that's a Beretta route right there, because this is a Kramer Beretta body. But um, let's see. But the actual route on the back of that type of a body should look like that. This is my 1984. This is like a Pacer special body, obviously. So, um, it's news to me. So let's see what uh, John was saying. Ask him how many guitars does he have in his collection and how many do you have in your collection, Johnny B? I have 40 guitars. And, John, if you actually get on my YouTube page, um, I just did a video the other day. I did two videos um, of my entire guitar collection, and I talk about every single one of them. And I also did a, a video on all my EVH straps through the years. So get on my YouTube page. And you can see every single guitar that I own right now. And Johnny, he's asking you. Huh? He's asking you how many guitars you have in uh, your collection. I don't know. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> Not many. No, you've got a lot. Got um, a probably, probably 20. Okay. Probably. But my main my main ones are uh, 
uh, the David Ennis Wolfgang, the David Ennis Strat, and uh, the Bozik Wolfgang, and uh, what else? My Fender uh, uh, Telecaster Custom 72 reissue. Those are my main, main ones. The main ones. Main ones, yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I got 40. I have 40 guitars total right now. Wow. Hopefully 41 when I finish my Snake Dragon replica, because the Snake Dragon is going to be my next one. Oh, cool. Yeah, I got to do a Snake Dragon. Right on. Right on. I, go ahead. I added the, 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 the orange gel to my LED light, and I got this other lamp here, so now my lighting is much better. Oh, yeah, that does look much, good. Much better now, so. Um, strings and 10 fingers says Riley what did you mean the piece of metal on the Floyd so what he's talking about six strings and 10 fingers is most original actually all original Floyds other than the original whale tails underneath here if you pull the bar back and this one doesn't have it because none of my Floyds do because I removed them they have two pieces of metal underneath here one is a little piece of aluminum and then the other is a uh, um, six. It's another piece of metal that has these six little fingers that stick up like this, and they put pressure on the screws. Um, <clears throat> you don't need those. And as a matter of fact, they're tone robbers, and they're just useless pieces of metal. Um, so what I do on all my Floyds is I take all the saddles off, and I take the block off, and I take those two useless pieces of metal off, um, and then I put the block back on, and I put the screws in and I put the saddles back on and, and the screws in the back and uh, I intonate it. And what I find is, is when you remove those two pieces of metal, uh, aluminum, whatever, you now have the actual base of the Floyd. Do it this way so you can see. You now have the actual base of the Floyd sitting you, well, you can kind of hear the springs are kind of rusty, but it sits directly on the body. And you don't have to transfer the tone through those two pieces of aluminum to the body. So you get better resonance and you get better tone. Um, why did they ever start putting those on there? I have no idea. But the original whale tail Floyds never had them. So what you have is when, when the Floyd's not mounted on the body and it doesn't have string tension, the screws kind of just wiggle. They kind of flop. Um, but once you put tension on the Floyd, put the strings in, it, it takes care of that. So what I find is um, better resonance and, and better tone. And as Adam Reaver from Futone says, those two pieces of metal are tone robbers. And I never really paid much attention to that until about three, four years ago. And I started taking them off, and and I noticed a big difference. And what really did it for me was when I got my Jim Francis Whale Tail Floyd from for my fifty one fifty. The original Floyds never had those on there, and I was blown away at how how different the tone was and how much more resonant it was, because you don't have to transfer that sound through those two pieces of aluminum. It just goes directly from the base of the Floyd right into the wood. If you have a, a Floyd that is mounted flush to the body, not a floater. So that's what I found, and and I, it, it's it's night and day for me ever since I've done that. So that's what he's talking about. Cool. Yeah, man. Yeah, I got to take mine off, I guess, huh? I mean, you don't have to. It. I mean, it's not. I mean, if you're a if, if you're a good guitar player, like and Johnny Bean's a, an amazing guitar player. It it really. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's just uh, I find that you'll get better resonance and better sustain if you don't have those on there. Because if you think about it, you're just you're, you're removing two pieces of of hardware that you really don't need. And 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 the that, like I said, that base of the Floyd is sitting flush on the wood of the body. Um, mm -hmm. do I have a Floyd? <laughs> Are they on like every type of Floyd? Do they have them? Every type of Floyd since the whale tail bridges put those on there. And 
no one has ever been able to tell me what those are good for. Other than than making the Floyd sit a little higher off the body. I mean, okay, there's some guitars that if you take them off, you know, now the Floyd sits a little bit too low. But I've always found you can make that adjustment by using the, um, making adjustments to the, you know, the, the Floyd posts, the pivot posts. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Like I said, Adam Reaver has it figured out. He he rem he basically says they're tone robbers. That's what he says. He's been saying it for years. And like I said, I never paid much attention to it until about three years ago. Um, and I notice a huge difference in sound. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Jay. Every do. James Severin, welcome. Uh, wait, we're we're half an hour into this. We should probably, let me take roll call. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can actually talk about it. we actually have stuff to talk about that i know right oh my god we might just have may, probably make more sense just to start over <laughs> and, and talk right. about the other stuff because we're already three minutes into this <laughs> um uh six string and ten fingers is here hello nick horton is here what's up nick r2r3 locking nut metal soda john bulware uh Strapman 65, Joe Hervey 84, Riley Morgan, Bozik, Upside Down, Half Face, or is it Half Ace? Uh Football Legends, Janice Lala, Ernest, uh, is it Eason? What was that? Was that growling? Bernie, Bernie's growling. What are you growling at? <laughs> Well, what did I say? I said something. And he started growling. What are you growling at? I'm like, Ernest, is it Elson? Oh, are you just eating out of the cat box again? Oh, gross. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Cameron <laughs> Brown. Yeah, my Ernest Music Man. Yep, that's a man guitar. That, that surely, is. for years and years and years, that was. And the thing's totally beat up now. Um, who else is here? Ron Pajet's in the house. Although it it probably doesn't make any sense to scroll up, you know, because those people might might have laughed, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so Alley Cat, Laverna. Right. Um. So yeah. Nightbot trying to get some cheap advertising there. <laughs> Nightbot. <laughs> <laughs> well hey yeah that's a good one yeah join my uh my uh, van halen 78 to 84 facebook group we got something like uh 12 000 members or something absolutely and uh it's very cool they're they're right there yep <clears throat> yes <clears throat> um okay so okay on my list you might have to take your shoes off yeah no, um we'll start whenever you want. <laughs> well yeah go ahead take your shoes off <laughs> hold on one quick one second before we get into that uh football legends has a question he says rob what body did you use for the 1982 little guitar well um i didn't use anything this is the guitar you're talking about, and um, this is actually a Lotus guitar. <clears throat> it's a Lotus $125 little guitar and uh, travel guitar, I guess you could say. Um, so I purchased this guitar about maybe 10 years ago, and it had um, regular-looking humbuckers in it, uh, no pickguard four knobs, dot inlays, um, and it was like a sunburst type color, kind of like that. Mm, so yeah. I got it. Um, let's see. I went to town like I normally do with all my guitars, and I wanted to make it into like Edward's 1984-ish. Said he had two of them. He had a, had a sunburst one and kind of like a red one he used. And the red one he used in 84 – and the Sunburst one he used in the Diver Down Tour in 82, 83. So I, I kind of went back and forth between both versions and ultimately settled on this. So I, I put two soapbox-type pickups in it. and Soap uh, bar. 
Huh? Soap bar? Yeah, yeah. This is soap like, box? This is like 10 years ago. Soap box or soap bar or whatever you call it. <laughs> and I cut my own pick guard. I cut Are they? That guitar has to be really, for those to be soap bar pickups, that has to be a really small guitar. It is. It's, it's, it's definitely three quarter inch. It's not in tune, but um, I cut my own pick guard, put the little uh, bar here. Uh, took two knobs out, filled them, and um, I got the uh, uh, dot inlay uh, blocks and put those over the, or, or the inlay blocks, I should say, put those over the dots, um, put the, the eye bolts in, and painted the body red. And it came out just like this. Oh, and I added the little VH sticker on the headstock, sanded the headstock down, painted it black. Uh, and, oh, and I put different tuners on it because the Lotus tuners pretty much sucked. And uh, yeah, so that's it. So this is basically a Lotus guitar. So I can't really tell you what it was made of because I don't, I don't know. It was but made of a Lotus guitar. It's yeah, it's made of a Lotus guitar. <laughs> but it is a cool guitar, and when it's tuned up, it does it does the trick uh, really good. Um, it doesn't stay in tune though, does it? Well, it does with these tuners. <laughs> oh, those are better tuners then. Yeah, but this is it. This is my little guitar. A guitar like that, you really have to have the thing intonated, and oh, you got to use hell of heavy strings on a guitar like that. Oh yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It, I mean, a minimum of tens, at least tens. At least, at least ten. Oh, I, I would do elevens, eleven yeah, or twelves. I would do like twelves on on a guitar like that. No bending at all. Oh, right. Well, there's no there's no bending in little guitars anyway, is there? No, not really. No, no it's it's mostly like uh, like uh, finger finger picking. Right. Stuff. Right. Right. For sure. Um. Uh, so, uh, what you want to take your shoes off <laughs> or a shoe? I'll take my, I'll take a shoe off. Just one shoe. There we go. Look at that. Look at, look at those. Oh, nice. So I got these in a couple of days ago and I love them. They're really, 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 really cool. They are, uh, you can get them at VH store as of today. Whoa. Oh, Lost my microphone. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, bye. Technical difficulty. You can get them at the uh, Van Halen store as of today, uh, and also the Eddie Van Halen store, which is uh, what's that called, Johnny? Uh, like uh, killer merchandise or something like that. Killer merch. Uh, Eddie Van Halen store dot com. Yeah, I've been meaning about talking about those those things for like a couple weeks. Yeah, um, but kind of, I guess, kind of waited until Van Halen store got them, and yeah. they posted about them. They posted about them today, actually. Yep. Um, so. they're they're basically a mesh type shoe, and um, actually, you guys that have seen these these fifty one fifty shoes, the, the boat shoe, which I love these too. These are these are really comfortable. Those are kind of like Vans, right? Yeah, they're just like Vans exactly. That's exactly what they are. Great shoe. Um, but these but, shoes but, are like a, like a surfer shoe, like a, like a like a you know the shoes you'd wear at the beach, except um, you know they have the the stylish uh, laces, which you know you can't tie. They're they're already like you know um, kind of embedded in there, so you can't do anything. They're, they're for looks, I guess. They're for looks, yeah. But they have a big sole on them, like a sneaker sole, and um, they they wear just like a slip on sneaker, and. Um, so they give the the kind of uh, surfer type, you know, slide on mesh shoe look, but with the sole and everything, they're they're definitely a uh, they're definitely a, a shoe you can wear pretty much anywhere. You can wear them running, or you can wear them just casual. They're mm -hmm. really really comfortable. I love it. I, they're, they, they're really cool. They kind of look like running shoes. They do. I mean, don't running shoes are are, are like mesh shoes, right? Yeah. Yep, absolutely. And they feel like it. They really do. They're 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 really really comfortable. And I would I, I like I said I when I saw them a couple of weeks ago I was like wow these are really neat. And I and I bought two pair. I bought one pair to kind of just wear all the time and wear them out. And then another pair so when these wear out I have a, a second pair. And I love them. And they're they're incredibly light. I mean you know I mean you can use them to spank your kid. 
you know, if you want. <laughs> you wait, 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 do that again. Hold on. I'm gonna spank my I'm gonna spank my Van Halen tattoo by 5150 tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean they're oh, really great. They're really cool. Um and they're comfortable. So <laughs> So that is the Van Halen mesh shoe. <laughs> is that a word, mesh? <laughs> I guess it is. And I was going to say those other ones, they look like Vans. Yeah. But These instead, they're, they're they're Halens. Yeah. You know? They're Vans Halens. Vans Halens. They're right. Van Halens. That's what they are. They're Van Van Halens. Well, you, you know, I've, I've got the I've got the Vans. Yeah, Johnny's got the real Vans. That, that's I've got the real. And these are actually the, like the like the the charcoal ones. They're not actually dirty. That's how they yeah. actually came. Th those are like the uh, 1984 uh, Eddie Van Halen uh, dice checker shirt that he used to wear back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just got these like a couple weeks ago. So there you go. I like those. I, I really do like those actually. <laughs> or oh, you know, those are spank your girlfriend exactly. Yeah. <laughs> wow okay so that's one thing <laughs> six string says rob sounds like you're a man that has been sponsored by the evh merch store and if you screw this up you'll get evicted out of the new house i know <laughs> yeah, i can't have that i haven't even moved in yet so that wouldn't be cool man and uh we're sponsored by you guys Exactly. You know, our, our viewers are our sponsors. Yep. Um, let's see. How many people we got? We got 48? 50. 50 people watching. 32 thumbs ups. Leave a thumbs up if you're, uh, if you're brand new. And uh, subscribe if you're uh, brand new to this. There we go. There's the new feature right there. <laughs> It's a little fast, though. I can't slow it down. Yeah, it goes quick. <laughs> it's too quick. Bridges says, Rob, can you hold up your Music Man strike guitar? <laughs> uh, yeah, here it is. This is a uh, this is the runaround guitar. Um, it is a uh, it's Music Man body. Uh, Chris Hubbard painted this one for me. He did an awesome job on it. Um. And uh, let's see, yeah, it's got a Gato bridge, which is pretty much what all the music mans are, Goto. Um, tone knob, selector switch in the EVH spot. Um, it's actually a Chris Locke neck, which he did an amazing job on. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, definitely pretty cool. Great guitar. Uh, I finished this replica. Well, the replica. I mean, it is a Music Man body, but I finished this replica up about a, uh, probably about a month ago. And uh, yeah, it's a great guitar. Um, a good friend of mine sent me the pickups. They're exactly the same as what's in the real uh, Axis and the EVH guitars. Um, tone zone in the neck and an Air Norton. Um, excuse me, tone zone in the bridge and an Air Norton in the neck. I have. Oh, the oh, they're they're Demarzios. Yeah, they're Demarzio. They're real Demarzios. Oh man! Um, the eye bolts are the custom ones I had professionally made. They have the welds. They're the number uh, eight uh, eye bolts with the washers of the weld on them and the little set screw hole. And uh, yeah, great guitar. Definitely a cool guitar. Not in tune. I was actually just playing this a few weeks ago, but uh, yeah, this is the guitar basically that you saw uh, in the runaround video. So in that 1993 uh, truck magazine where Eddie's standing next to the Chevy S10. Uh, was, that called? was it sport sport yeah. truck? Sport truck or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eddie's wearing a pair of jeans and a blue sport jacket, and he's holding this guitar. And this is the guitar that was in the runaround video. The he's, one wearing, of, he's wearing the same jacket in, uh, in, in a PV5150 ad, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yep. He is. Um, and um, 
A lot of people think this is the same guitar that was in the uh, pound cake video, and it's not. The pound cake video guitar was different. That one was striped all the way around. It didn't have the binding. And mm -hmm. it had a different stripe pattern with like little seagulls down in this area here. It was so, more rough looking. Yeah, it was much more rough looking. And, and the bar actually had a big ball bearing on the end, <laughs> which is interesting. Uh, and there's a picture of Eddie sitting on the beach with no shirt, sitting on a rock back in like 91, 92 era, holding that guitar. But this is a different one. This is They call this one the runaround replica. And uh, yeah, definitely a cool mm -hmm. guitar. And so when I had the opportunity to, to build one of these, I was like, yeah, definitely. This is kind of a cool music name. Is, is that uh, is that a uh, neck plate custom or is that original? No, this is a, um, okay. So uh, <laughs> the neck plate is a music man copy. So when, I, <laughs> so when I built this guitar, I was like, okay, uh, I can get the pickups, you know, tone zone, air Norton, no problem. I get the toggle switch. The knob, I put a you know an EVH low friction knob. I can get the Gato tuners. I can get the Schaller uh, tuning pegs, just like Eddie had. Everything else was a piece of cake. The, the Ernie, I painted the headstock myself. Those Ernie, are those are upside down, huh? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, the only thing is, it's like uh, they should be uh, there should be two. There should be four right handed and two left handed. I just did them right. all right handed. So I mean, I could. Oh, that, that's cool though. You can do that. It works. I mean, do, it do, works. do you have to tune it you, when, when you're tuning the guitar? Do you just have to go the other way, or, <laughs> yeah. or... yeah, right? I know. Is that... <laughs> yeah, I don't I, know. I put the detune on it, and the only thing that I really was like, okay, how am I going to do this? Because you can't go buy a neck plate from Music Man. It's really difficult. So one night, um, in the middle of building this guitar. Um, I got on eBay and I typed in Music Man neck plate and um, this neck plate from Japan came up and it said Tone 5. It says Tone 5 under here. It's all engraved. Uh, and it's a Music Man uh, replica uh, neck plate. So it works. It's a you know, five bolt neck plate. But it said Tone 5. So I had this little Music Man um, sticker sitting around. So I just stuck that over the Tone 5. So that's probably not like Eddie's, but it worked. And uh, yeah, came out pretty cool. It's a great guitar. I love it. Plays amazing. And Chris Locke did an mm -hmm. awesome job. Mm -hmm. Did an awesome job on this neck. Asymmetrical. Um, yeah, incredible. So yeah, this is the runaround copy. <laughs> right Ooh. on. Hey, now. <laughs> that's cool and since we're talking about guitars real quick i don't know if you guys saw this this is my new 918v i did new one yeah date nesdal got my last one so 918v this is a chris lock body um so it's a beretta body and a randy butala neck so it's the pointy headstock, tilt back, just like Eddie's original 918V was. And skunk stripe on the back with snake bite rear loaded nut mounting hardware. And uh, yeah, this is the 918V replica I just finished up. Because like I said, Nesdo got my last one, so I had to build another one. This is a great guitar. Came out amazing. So the 918V, which was a 5150-era backup guitar, and along with that one, again, maybe you guys saw some of these. This is the uh, replica of the Kramer uh, Baritone Ripley guitar that Eddie has or had in his collection. You guys have seen this. It had the Zebra pickup, Beretta body, 5150 stripe job. But it had a 24 fret baritone neck with a Ripley logo on the headstock. And you'll notice it's actually, what, where are we here? It's actually uh, crown head uh, Gatto tuners, original crown head Gatto tuners. So that was kind of a chore finding those. But uh, yeah, it's just, this is basically what Eddie's looks like. 
so this is another copy I did, which I kind of thought was pretty cool. Again, a really cool guitar. Mm-hmm. Wow, 24 frets, huh? 24 frets, but if you guys <laughs> really look close, I think that fake it until you make it, right? So this is not a real baritone neck. It's basically just a, a crystal well, body with an original Kramer Pacer Deluxe neck. I sand the finish off, put a Ripley logo on it. If, if everybody pauses the video, like hold it right there, show the 12th fret. <laughs> and okay, I put it in the 22nd and I put some <laughs> dot inlays on that to make it look 24. <laughs> everybody just pause the video and cross your eyes. Right. And it'll look like 24 frets. Exactly, right? So like I said, <laughs> if you can't dazzle it with brilliance, baffle them with bullshit. That's my oh, mind. man. It's not how good you do. It's how good you look while you're doing it. So uh, it's a great guitar. It's cool. Uh, and it's just a replica, but it came out pretty cool. So it's, it's not 24 fret, but uh, it, it plays the part. But it is a real playing guitar, basically a Chris Lock body with an original Kramer neck, 22 fret. I just made it kind of look the part. So definitely a cool, <laughs> cool Ripley-type replica, you know? Do you ever freak out playing that thing, like way up high? <laughs> Actually, to be honest with you, I did the other day. I was playing, like, wait, what is this? That's the 22nd fret, not the 24th. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I take said. That, I, take I, that in to get set up somewhere. And you'll freak out the, the repair <laughs> technician, man. Take it, they'll be, take it, right? They'll be intonating it for 24 frets. <laughs> is what they'll be doing and they won't understand why yeah they'll just be like why <laughs> metal soda says i so confused <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. gosh wow 51 uh people in here 51 look at the time 5150 we've been live exactly it's uh, oh 5150 on, yeah. on the timer on the timer on here that's what it said to me, anyway. Uh... <laughs> oh, Bozik just sent me a message on my YouTube channel. Bozik just said, you to man, amazing collection. Thank you, my friend. Awesome. What is your channel? Say say hi in the chat so people know what your channel is. Uh, oh, okay. Hold on. got to find that. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I gotta lock you... it. Hey. Oh, oh whoops. <laughs> Well, that's the show, everybody. <laughs> uh, we'll see if he jumps back in. But hey, again, everybody uh, is having a great time. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell. And uh, what else? Thumbs up if you guys are if you're, uh, digging this stuff. Yeah, we've got a couple of other, other things to talk about. Um, oh, he's texting me now. He's like laughing. <laughs> oh, I just had a, a Pete's uh, black tea. So I'm, I'm awake. Sort of. 5150 Rob, that, that's his, uh, his channel. Probably. Well, wow. uh, and again, everybody, leave a thumbs up for David Nesdal. He uh, he's in the hospital today, and it'll be interesting to see what happens tomorrow because uh, I don't think he's going to be home for a while. So, tune in tomorrow at eight o'clock Eastern, right here, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, what else? Yeah. So, yeah, we have a couple more things to talk about, which we probably should have talked about this stuff, you know, 40 minutes ago. But, you know, you know how these things are. One thing about Rob, he's a good sport. I like the guy. You know, Hervey says, Johnny Bean, how's Ned been doing? Ned has been doing good. He's, uh, he's sleeping right now. Pretty much sleeps during the day, pretty much awake, you know, all night. And then he, he uh, hops in the window there at, at uh, 
five thirty in the morning. Uh, what's up with Dave? Dave Nesdal. Um, he, he had to go, he had to go to the hospital uh, a couple days ago, and so he's he's been he's been there the the, the past couple of days. Okay, there's Rob's YouTube channel. There we go. Um, Sean Zimmerman. I don't know exactly what what's going on with him, um, but if if you guys are friends with him on Facebook, I'm show I'm I'm show I'm sure uh, he he's he's updating people. Start over. Should I start over? I probably should start over because we're already an hour into this video. Well, he sh Rob showed off his shoes. That was one thing. And those two other things. If I start over, will you guys come back? We got 48 people here. You guys promise to come back if I start over? I'll see what Rob is. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should start over because these two other things I want to talk about should should be like dedicated videos to this stuff. I don't know. Let me know in the chat. Should, should we start over? Say yes in the chat if we should if I should start over or say no in the chat if I shouldn't start over. And I don't know what happened to Rob. Hey. Uh, Joe Hervey says yes. Hal Face says yes. Adel Soto says yes. Tim McCord says yes. Sean and Marie Six. You guys don't want me to start over? <laughs> okay. Hey, Shauna. Just continue, Tony says. Uh, hey, the Chad. Hey, man. Okay, here's Rob. Hey, I'm what, what happened? I'm sorry. I tried to sign in so people could see my YouTube page, and I ended up kicking myself off. Ugh, I apologize. You said, you said kicking, right? Kicking. Okay, well, I'm not going to take that <laughs> chance again. So, okay, hold on a sec. Okay, so for those of you guys that want to find me, my here's my YouTube page. It's, it's, here's my avatar. Rob's EVH Guitars Fitness and Martial Arts page. Okay, so you'll find me on there. Sorry about that, Johnny. That's cool. That's <laughs> I, cool. I tried to just click sign in and then or log in, but as soon as I did that, it kicked me off. You clicked sign in and it logged off, huh? Yeah, yeah, I know. Go figure, right? <laughs> Man. So I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if, if we, sh if we should start over. Um, yeah, I think we should start over. <laughs> uh, but no, seriously, we've got these two other things I want to talk about, and yeah, we're already an hour into this video. Um, do you think we should, we should keep going or? or or start another one? No, let's keep going. I'm good. Keep going. Well, well, I mean, if we start over, it'll be the same thing, just a new video. That's that's yeah, what I mean. Yeah, we can start over. I got another hour or so. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. I'm thinking we should start over. I'm thinking yeah. because these other two subjects should probably be its own video. I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm I'm good. So okay. All right, you guys. We'll be right back. So uh, use the bathroom, get, get a drink. Use the bathroom, get a drink. And before you leave, uh, my Patriots got their butts kicked last night because they're a bunch of moron idiots. And oh. uh, they, sh they should have won the game, but they didn't because they're idiots. So anyway. Oh, man. All right. So we'll be right back, you guys. So like <laughs> we said, use the bathroom, get a drink, and uh, come back. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back, you guys. <laughs>
John Bean TV. Be right back. We'll be right back. We'll be right, we'll be right back. 